What we saw in Taiwan in the Taiji Men case was the idea that suppressing the spiritual minorities can be justified for the goal of uh, political stability or protecting some politicians uh, or a newly elected president. Now, Monsignor Romero would tell us that infringing the human rights of these minorities is never uh, justified. And I'm sure one day it will be recognized that the thousands of Taiji men did this protesting in the streets are also working for Taiwan. They are not working against Taiwan. Uh, a scandalous example of how tax law are abused by bureaucrats against religious groups is the case of Taiji men in Taiwan. They have been taught never to compromise, whatever the price to pay. Integrity, dignity, respect, compassion, love, and peace are at the heart of their values and of their lives. But some people and institutions have shamelessly violated their human rights to justice. The Dizi are the best ambassadors of Taiji men's teachings to the outside world because they are the living testimonies that their spiritual values can regenerate individuals and society. This is a major contribution of Taiji men to the spread of human rights in uh, Taiwan. This is also a precious asset for the Taiwanese society and the image of the country abroad. But the National Taxation Bureau and its ally, Prosecutor Hu, nicknamed the Judicial Rambo, stubbornly remain deaf to their call for justice. I, I'm really finding this very difficult to know how to respond to what I've been learning about Taiji men over the past few months. I, I didn't know anything about it before. I've been to Taiwan on several occasions and I love the country and the people. I mean, it, it, it's unbelievable. It just wouldn't make sense if you try to make it sense. And so I keep saying to myself, how could it happen? Why does it happen? And why does it happen to Thai Chi men? And I'm having great trouble in understanding this. What, are the, what is the interest that a civil servant can have in behaving in this way? What does he get out of it? Well, he got promotion, Mr. Nee tells us. I didn't know that. Um, and so did a whole lot of the other people who were sort of in the gang. I mean, did they know they would get promotion if they attacked this martial arts Qigong movement? What, what, what was pushing it that this would happen? Why, why could it go on happening for such a long time? I want to understand motives far more and the fitting together of the system a system which on paper looks so good and yet has been feeding this terrible corruption. The right to truth is the, the true substance, I think, of religious liberty, which we are addressing today with the Taiji Men case, which is a, so important for Taiji Men chief when this is, but for this reason, it's important internationally and to all of us that may be not uh, dizzy.